Good morning. So it's kind of nice to sleep in a real bed last night and take a shower. And when I had to get rid of the bathroom, it was in a nice warm home. I'm enjoying coffee. It's so funny because I love coffee so much in my everyday life. But in the trail, I just don't like making it. I don't know. It's just not the same. And it's, I don't know. I just don't even like even making it. But when I'm like in town or something, coffee is the thing. I love it. So right now, I'm just getting my gear all packed up. And then I'm going to have breakfast here um, in about an hour. So once I get everything packed up here, I'm going to finish, try to, I don't know if I'll finish, but I'm going to try to keep editing some videos. I got quite a bit edited yesterday, so that's good. Um, so today's hike is going to go in, I'm going to go into Neil's Gap, which means I'm going to go over Blood Mountain today. Um, it's supposed to rain, but it said like off and on, so maybe I'll get lucky and it won't rain that much. And then it's supposed to rain tomorrow, like pretty good. And then Wednesday's like a 50% chance. So I am thinking about possibly zeroing tonight and then taking a zero tomorrow. Um, but I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure yet. I did try to go through and read comments. I won't be honest. I haven't had a chance to respond to anyone's comments like on social media. It's almost overwhelming right now because there's so many <laughs> that because I'm behind so bad. Um, but I love them. I hope you keep like commenting and, and, and everything because I love it so much. It just seriously, it like boosts my comments so much. And um, but like I did talk. Um, well, obviously I saw Jerry yesterday, but I, I did like text with my mom and my kids and a couple of friends. So that was nice, you know, to kind of just give everybody a little bit of an update that I'm close to. Um, obviously, you know, my videos will be like a week behind. That's just something I need to do to make sure I have a video for you guys every week, every day if possible. And also just because kind of safety reasons um so even my instagram is a little it's a few days off so and i'm just telling you all that so that you know that probably what you're seeing is exactly where i'm at like but i just want to do that for my personal like just safety reasons and things like that but anyway anyway so i'll drink my coffee get myself ready and yeah and then i'll be heading out of the trail today can't wait for breakfast. It's kind of awesome that we're getting this nice food to breakfast this morning. Well, with moving my gear around, I was actually able to get my pack packed a little bit better. And so it's actually, it's hard to tell if I look in the video, but it, it's actually smaller than it was. So hopefully it feels better. That's my hope. This is how you do breakfast. <laughs> Baked eggs. Sausage, pumpkin pancakes. Y'all know I love pumpkin. And morning glory muffins with orange juice and coffee. <laughs> Body and Paul are the best ever. Turn my temperature up a bit. You know, this truck is, it will warm up all of a sudden too much. Yeah. Well, Paul and Bonnie just dropped me off here back at Henry Gap. And they're just so awesome. So if y'all get a chance, be sure to go stay at your home in the woods, bed and breakfast. They are amazing people, as you've seen in my video. <laughs> and their food is amazing. <laughs> and it's just such a wonderful experience. So I'm so, so happy it worked out like it did. So the trail absolutely provides. <laughs> and I thank you all very, very much. You're welcome. <laughs> We're glad to have met you and wish you well on your hike. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm back on the AT. Super close. Not far at all. I'll put my hat on and take the jacket off because I'm afraid I'm going to get too hot because I'll be climbing here soon. Um, I'm going down right this minute, but um, <clears throat> they also sent me with uh, three of those morning glory muffins. So I'm going to have to find some hikers to share with. Whew, yep, already climbing. Here he goes. Um, oh, but I wanted to tell you, so I did, you know, I made some changes to my pack. 
Ooh, and it's made a world of difference. My pack already feels so much better. Now, granted, my food situation's a little lighter, and that might make it heavier <laughs> once I add some food. Um, but it actually does feel, I mean, it feels pretty comfortable right now. So, yeah, it was totally user error, I guess. And I don't know, because I changed the way I pack everything, which I was able to now since I changed my gear a little bit. And I got that, the better sleep pad back, my X-Therm. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get better night sleep now. Sleep now. So pretty excited about that. I think I'll stay warmer too, because it's like a 5.7 R value. And because it's rectangle and I have more room on it, I won't feel that draft from where I push it pretty much my butt's off the pad. So it's gonna be pretty awesome, I think. Anyway, I'm climbing. I think we may have come to Jared Gap. No, it's Gerard. Sorry, not Jared, it's Gerard. <laughs> That's what I was told last night. So it looks like you've got some campsites here. Rude. A road. Let's see if that's what this is. Yep. Gerard Gap. Got a lot of rain happening right now. Look at this fog though. Ooh, spooky. It's kind of cool. Well, I made it to the junction with Woods Hole Shelter. It's like a mile, a mile and a half or something like that off of this trail to get to the shelter. I don't think I would, as a through hiker, if I could help it, would want to stay at the shelter just because I wouldn't want to hike three miles extra. And there's a campsite right there. I'd probably do that first. Anyway, I only have 1.2 miles to Blood Mountain. So I think I'm about to start the climb to Blood Mountain. I'm going to check the thing. Um, so I don't have a whole lot longer left. Uh, it's very, very cloudy, foggy, whatever. I'm hoping that maybe at the top of Blood Mountain, I'll be above the clouds, but I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> okay, so you know how people always talk about like other through hikers and people talk about how the trail always provides. And I have to say already just my fifth day out and a couple of things that I just feel like happened that, you know, I didn't know how it was gonna work out. And the one being that, you know, I thought I was gonna say that campsite, didn't kind of really want to, but you know, Got to see my husband. And then the nice thing is we all stayed at that bed and breakfast place. Which was so nice. They even like fed Jerry. So he got to stay and eat dinner. Which was pretty awesome. But you know how I was talking about. I have um, gloves and they got soaked. And I haven't had gloves for like the past four days. And I knew I was going to have to go to buy some at Neil's Gap. You know try to buy something that would be waterproof and all that. Well, funny enough, at that bed and breakfast last night, they had a hiker box. And lo and behold, a pair of women's waterproof gloves. They're just a tiny bit big. I don't know if they're really big. Actually, when I put them on, they fit, you know, going into the glove. They just seem kind of bulky, but maybe that's the way they're made. They're also finger touch. So I can still use my phone, which is what I was wanting. And I kept thinking, man, it's going to cost me a fortune, you know, to buy a pair of those at Dylan's Gap. I mean, they're going to be expensive. And then I found one. And it's like, I don't know. It's just, I mean, this amazes me. This whole experience so far is amazing me. It's just crazy. And so now I have a nice pair of warm gloves for my hands that are waterproof. And they're 
also I can screen touch. So, man, I'm just telling you, this part is kind of cool looking. Cool. Slaughter Creek. Whoa. And that goes to the campsite, I think. I just don't know. That's just a horrible name. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, what I was told, this isn't that bad because there's a lot of switchbacks. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I, go, I mean, every time I've watched like other YouTubers, they talk about Blood Mountain. I'm like, oh, Blood Mountain. Because it's the highest point on the AT in Georgia. So, I don't know. But this is pretty. I'm going to have to get a photo. Yeah, this area, this area of Blood Mountain really does remind me a lot of the Smokies. One part of it reminds me of Andrews Bald. Another part reminds me of Mandarin Bald. Man, Mandarin, Mandarin Bald. Anyway, it's pretty. It's windy. It's windy too. Well, parts of it are. You get to climb up this lovely slab of rock when it's wet. It's got to be super fun. Yeah, this reminds me a little bit of Mount Camera. Just all the rocks. Slate rocks. I bet there's some beautiful views. I bet there is. Somewhere. Wow. This like, looks like you're going to some kind of Lord of the Ring. Lord... Wait, Lords of the Ring? Lord of the Rings? <laughs> Can you tell them I don't watch it? You're like, well, if you haven't watched it, why do you think that it reminds you of that? Um, I guess because it's kind of magical and mystical. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, I gotta be getting close. <laughs> Here it is, guys, in all its glory, Blood Mountain. I don't know if there's anybody up here, or will I get to have it to myself? Look at this. There was a preview back down there. I didn't film it. All right, let's see those people. That's a bad place. There's like a little rock area. This is how it looks. Right. Look, it's a little stone house. I go after it. You could have a no fireplace. It's a fake fireplace. And there's a bird. And a broom. So I guess you know you can stay here. If you wanted to. Look at this. A hammer that apparently got left when they were pouring the concrete. That's hilarious. I took a break here on the Blood Mountain stone floor. Um, I just signed the book. I've been really bad about not signing books. I keep forgetting. So I signed that book. Oh, I have 2.4 miles to Nails Gap. And it's all downhill. So, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Although it looked pretty freaking steep. Um, so, yeah. Uh, it's 1230 now. So, I should be there within the hour, I guess. Like 1.30ish. Maybe a little after 1.30. Because it's 2.4 miles. So, it just depends on how hard the train is going down. Oh, also, Jerry was so nice when he came yesterday to, to see me. He brought me three of those body armors. So I put, I filled up this and my one liter with those. So I've had some like really good drinking today. But anyway, okay, so this is pretty funny. <laughs> I was uh, about to take a picture and I went, oh my God, where's my hat? Oh my God, I've lost my hat. It was on my head. Yeah. 
So there's this little outcropping here when you come off the Blood Mountain. Oh wow. Man, look at this. Man, it's too bad there is no use. I bet this would be really pretty. This would be a great spot too, like in the warm weather, just to come out here and like sunbathe, have a picnic lunch or something. Yeah, this would be super nice. Yep, look at those views. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. <sighs> Lots of slick, wet rock to go down. <sighs> Gotta be super slow, careful. careful. Oh, man, there is tons and tons of this slight rock that you go down. <sighs> it's a cold looking area, man. <sighs> it never ends. <laughs> Whew, and it sucks when it's wet. Finally. Just a nice normal trail. Yeah. No, that was kind of rough. I mean, that was a lot of slate. And it was like, you had to be so, so careful. Because it's so wet. And, uh, more slate. Mm -hmm. We just quit raining at least. Uh, there's the trail <laughs> over some more rocks. Yay. Hot. Oh man. It's kind of cool looking though. <laughs> mm. uh, man, I keep trying not to film so I can get somewhere. But then this place is cool. This is why I'm hiking. Hiking on, hiking, hiking, hiking. Hey, rock, rock, rock. Looks like those rocks are getting their groove on. Sorry, I know that's inappropriate. I guess, whatever. I've been hiking for hours in the rain, okay? So, I've been talking to myself and I've been singing. Oh, this is all I've done, slaked. Slaked all day. <sighs> okay, I better shut up for it makes me fall. All right, bones gotta get put away again. Hopefully the Lord, I'll be at the Elms Gap here in a few minutes. I have officially left the Blood Belt Wilderness. Woohoo! Whoop, whoop, I made it to Neil's Gap. And I'm about to make it to Mountain Crossings. Look. I hear cars. anything it is so foggy oh there's oh i think that might be the bunk house oh yeah there it is blood mountain you saw it coming down look at this cool place picnic tables to sit at there's the meals gap Oh man, I'm here. Yay! Woot woot! Oh, I love the wind chimes. I hope they let my dirty, wet butt come in here. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Rookie mistake. So I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Jesus. Oh yeah. Bunch of tuna packets. Mars they have tortillas. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, look at that chocolate cheesecake. Oh god, that looks good. Mm -hmm. 
Anyway, super cool. Well, okay, I left Mountain Crossings and I decided, I mean, I was gonna stay at the bunkhouse there, I mean, cause it is pretty inexpensive. It's only like $20, but I just really wanted some space to myself. I just feel like I need that, like kind of just a time to just do whatever I wanna do, just me. So I decided to go into Blairsville again. And although I did really love staying with um, Bonnie and Paul, I mean, I did, and it's so reasonably priced. Um, I just felt like I kind of needed just some me time, you know, just kind of, just me, like to do whatever I want to do and kind of a thing. And I think if I'd stayed there tonight, I would be sharing a room with someone else. So anyway, so I'm here at, oh, let me make sure I get the name right. Seasons Inn and Suites, I think is what it's called. Um, yeah, I believe it's Seasons Inn and Suites. It's terrible that I don't remember the name. It was on uh, the Gut Hooks app. And um, so they're very, very hiker friendly. They're very friendly. Linda is the one who helped me at the front desk. She was super, super nice. And they even have like a hiker box here. So anyway, and I was shuttled here by uh, Jeff's Appalachian Trail shuttles. Um, he um, shuttled me here. He was super nice. So there's like a little microwave, and it's just a simple room, but it's um, it's clean and it's nice. Um, so like little desk stuff. There's a refrigerator, and then you know just like a little bath there area, and then of course you know the bathroom. <laughs> There's like a grocery store really close by. I mean, it's just a small family owned grocery store. Hopefully they have enough food I can resupply there. Uh, that's my hope. There's a restaurant called a hole in the wall, which I suppose I've heard is um, pretty famous for like being really good food to eat. So I thought I might try to, you know, maybe go eat there or something. But we're at this second, just kind of taking off the wet clothes. Um, I mean, I only did, I think it was like 6.6 6 miles or something like that today, which doesn't sound like a lot of miles, but honestly coming down Blood Mountain was, I mean, that was rough. I mean, there was so much that flat rock, those big slabs of rock and um, just, I don't know. It was being wet and everything. It was just, yeah, it was a lot. So they do have laundry here so I can do laundry. So, you know, I even thought I took a shower yesterday. I guess I'll be taking another shower today or at least tonight or, you know, at some point. So anyway, but the point plan is I'm going to take a Nero today and then I'm going to actually take a zero here as well. So I'll be, I am actually taking my first zero here. Um, I just feel like I kind of need it. It's supposed to rain. Well, it rained all day today. It's still raining. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And then I think it's supposed to rain Wednesday too. Or Well, it's at least, it's a 50% chance Wednesday. So, um, the part of me kind of hates the idea of having to get back on the trail after being off for two days without rain and then going back into rain. But I also don't want to pay $75 for another night. I mean, not that that's like, I mean, that's not bad. I know for, you know, a hotel room. But, um... And I also just kind of don't want to take off that much time because I don't want my legs to start. I mean, right now my legs are doing really good. I'm not like super sore. So I mean, pretty much, you know, every day I hike, it's like, okay, you know, my, my body's like, okay, this is what we're doing. It's totally cool. But now that I'm taking a day off tomorrow and then I start back Wednesday, I'm not sure, you know, how are my, how's my body going to be then? How's my legs going to be? Like, literally I had a Nero yesterday, a Nero today and a zero tomorrow. <laughs> And I've only five days of hiking, which kind of sounds bad, I guess, but it's just with the weather, it's, I mean, yeah, I started and I guess I kind of should have known that, that me starting when I did, I'm probably going to put myself in the position of taking a lot more breaks. And so I gotta be careful because I got to budget my money. I really got to budget. So I don't know, but when it warms up and it's nicer and it's good weather all the time, I, I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna feel like I need to take off the trail so much. I mean, it's except to like resupply and things like that. So, so anyway, okay, I'm gonna relax a little bit and call my husband and all that. So, catch you guys in a little while. I'm walking around Blairsville in the rain. Gonna go over here to the food land. 
Well, I just ordered pizza from Pizza Place to go. Uh, one day they don't have buffet, and it's a Monday. Ah, I was gonna enjoy a buffet. Oh well. So we're gonna go into the food land, see if they have a pretty good resupply options for me, hopefully. And might get a few snacks for tonight. And then I'm gonna go pick up a pizza. That's what I'm doing, because it's raining and cold. So the Papa Papa's Pizza to go did not have the buffet today, but I got this pizza. Look at this, it's delicious looking for $6.99. And they were so nice, like they gave me plates and they gave me like some forks and they even gave me a cup. I mean, it was super nice. So I might definitely be going back for the buffet tomorrow. <laughs> Look at the mess I have in this room <laughs> with all my gear. I'm trying to like let everything kind of air out, dry out. Even though I just packed it up today, but with all that rain. Yeah. And I've just been sitting here editing videos and um, I put a post up on Instagram, you know, Facebook. Facebook. But trying to kind of catch up on everything. I haven't, I still haven't had a chance to like even try to reply to comments or anything yet. But I'm trying to get all of my editing, all my videos edited, all that uploaded. Of course, I've got all day tomorrow too. Um, I've got phone calls I'm going to have to make. But may do that tomorrow since I can have all day. I'm still going to do my resupply. I got to do laundry again. <laughs> I can't. Um, and the really worst part is it looks like the weather is going to be good tomorrow. Yeah, it was supposed to rain all day. It's just been, so I don't know, we'll see if it is or if it isn't, but yeah, it kind of sucks because, I mean, if it's a good day, if it's good weather, I'd really rather be on the trail. You know, I'd rather not be, you know, holed up in a hotel room. But at the same time, I really do need to get this, like, stuff done for, you know, the YouTube videos and stuff because I know a lot of y'all been kind of anxiously waiting for videos. Um, and then the worst part is Wednesday's supposed to rain, so it's like, Oh, it's going to suck to go back out on Wednesday in the rain and then be out there, you know, with no really way to dry my clothes and stuff. But especially because I think it's supposed to be, it's supposed to get nicer this week, but it's still supposed to be cold. But I really don't want to take another day. And I, I mean, I mean, this place is all right, but it's a little bit more expensive than what I'd prefer to be paying. So at worst, I guess if, if push comes to shove, and Wednesday comes around, I'll go back to Mountain Crossings. And if it's just like the back, the weather is just crap, like where I'm just gonna get drowned or whatever, then I'll probably just stay at the bug house that night since it's pretty cheap. And that'll keep me from my stuff getting wet and then I'll start in the morning. But that kind of sucks. It's like, it puts me a, a day behind the, what I'd rather be, you know, because I was fine with taking the zero simply because I knew I had to for, you know, the videos and things like that. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not at the point I want to take two days I mean, at all. So anyway, um, well, anyway, so I'm going to finish editing videos. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight to y'all and I will, um, I will see y'all tomorrow. So I am going to, I know a lot of people don't video their zero day but I thought I would you know to kind of keep that consistency of videos going and you know just so you can kind of see some of the things I do on zero day <laughs> or at least what I'm going to be doing on this zero day. <laughs>